Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. I've got a new demo for you today of one of our database templates. So I'm over here on MicrosoftAccessExpert.com, and I'm going to scroll down on the left side, look for Database Templates for Purchase. Go ahead and click on that. And the one we're looking at is the one near the bottom here called Access Network Login Name Database. As always, there's a little description here on what this database template does. You've also got some screenshots kind of showing you what the application looks like. You've got a place to download a demo as well as a place to buy various copies of, of the demo or of the application. Uh, internal use or developer, it's your choice. I'm going to go ahead and right click and save link as. And we'll go ahead and save this to the desktop. I'm going to close my browsers. We don't need that anymore. And here I am on my desktop. I'll right click and say extract all. I'm going to extract these to the desktop. And now we've got our demo here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. We will get a trusted security notice. I'll put a link to a video on how to deal with that in the description below. But for right now, I'm just going to click open. We've also got uh, a demo uh, window here that comes up and tells you that basically this is a demo. It won't save anything to the database. You do need to purchase the full version, which you can do from our website if you would like to use this in development. There's also a couple of ways that you can contact us via our website, email, messenger, Skype, online chat, or a contact form. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. And now what we're going to do is look at what this database template actually does. And we've got one button here. You click on Get Network Login Name. And what this is actually doing is pulling the username of the person that is logged into this computer. So as I am the one that is logged in, it is actually telling me that B. Myers is the one that is currently logged in. This could be used in multiple ways in multiple applications where you want to tell who's actually logged into the computer and possibly display different information or access different files or set permissions based upon who's logged in. So you may want to download it and purchase this and download it and take a look at the code so that you can actually do some probably pretty neat stuff with your access database. Uh, as always, give us a like and subscribe. You can join us on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. Plus. I'll put links to those in the description below. Be sure to contact us for all your database needs if you're starting from scratch or if you need help with an existing database. Thank you and have a great day.